Hey guys, this is Amit Kumar and in today's session, I'm going to show you how to take the benefit of MicroStrategy reference line. So in order to use the benefit, uh, in order to take the benefit of uh, MicroStrategy reference line, we have to create a chart. So now before to uh, create a chart, let me tell you what is the reference line of MicroStrategy. So guys, when we have huge number of data in a KPI, okay when we have probably around hundreds of uh, you know base data um, uh, hundreds of you know items in x axis and likewise we'll have a lot of fragmentations in your data so it is very difficult to analyze which one is the bigger one among the huge list and which one is the smaller which one is the medium so and so so a reference line would help us to analyze in a bulk amount of data which one is a smaller which one is a bigger and which one is a medium which one is average okay so through some different reference line which will be drawn that would create more insight to take a better decisions okay so let's start with i'm going to choose a line chart here now i will take some data which will have a huge number of uh, uh, you know data in the x-axis. I'm going to take ax, uh, Attribute here Say for example, I'll take customer So there are a lot of customers and I'm going to choose the customer wise revenue in this chart This is probably a, a very small chart you can say uh, there are not so huge number of data let's just choose uh, something else huh? because I need to have a huge number of data in a field so yeah this is probably uh, would be the helpful now the huge number of data it is very difficult to say which one is bigger yes of course it is looks bigger it is okay to say but when I ask you uh, that which one is a smaller data, which one is a uh, week in which there are very less number of revenue generated. So in that case, you'll have to think because these two nodes is probably look like same. So the differences between these two nodes is very less. In that case, what do you do? Now, Forget about the minimum also. If I'll say what is the average of this data or what is the medium exact, you know, uh, medium value in this huge list. In that case, the reference line would help. Okay. So let's use the reference line here. How to add the reference line in a line chart? Go and just go to this format. Here we have a you know tab called reference line okay so you need to add three things you need to add uh, say maximum I will add these are the uh, you know default functions available you can capitalize these functions to find out the man maximum very easily so when I add a maximum you can see this reference line is drawn on the maximum and you can see the value which is the maximum which is drawn here this is drawn here I'll just take as maximum is red and minimum is difficult for me to analyze and say instantly that which one is minimum because this two seems to be same so I'll just add minimum reference line so you can say which one is smaller of course this one is small because this is exactly touching to this and the value exactly matching with this uh, the reference value which is shown here However, this value is little bit higher, but not so high. So that's why it is probably look like they are similar or they are equal. So I'll just take this minimum reference line as say uh, green or maybe some dark green. Okay. Now it's time to find out the topmost value, which is medium. So you can get the median also, which is exactly among all the data coming here
now if someone is asking that what is the average sales in your uh, transactions so you can also add the average so it is not exactly the medium it is more or less it is a bit higher than the uh, medium value so it is the average so these are all the quick decision making points on which i can take something you know i can say something that this is a, a reference line from which i can get benefit for making this decision so guys this is the minimum reference line this is the maximum reference line this is medium and this is average so now tell me it's very normally uh, we could have you know um, generate this graph but we need to see that what decision we can make here on this chart so the decision is out of all the huge set of data which is no mean for us or which is no useful for me i being a businessman say i need to see what is my highest sales and what is my lowest sales what is the average or trend of my business and what is the minimum or medium something like that okay so apart from that all other nodes are useless for me worthless for me okay yes of course i can see the story building but uh, on instant decision making i must be uh, interested to see the minimum which is one of the most uh, least profitable customer for me and which is one of the most profitable customer for me and which is whose customers which customers are performing average so these are the decisions i can make from this reference line so let's give the final touch to this, this particular chart apart from this reference line we have other uh, you know uh, tabs here we can show the values on this data on this each nodes i can show the values and i have to show this uh, the the label which is showing here in the left side and they are condensed they are actually 2000 200000 so if you do not make it condense you need to uncheck this one just remove the condensing and the exact value will be shown how much it is so it's 2 million 4 million so on so let's just show them in a proper way so that there should be a comma separated and there should be a thousand separated value should be here i just go to this number format and make it fixed and use this option that should have a use thousand separator and okay so now you would see we have got the thousand separator values and i can also change this chart color i can also change this so uh, something to make it more attractive so this is probably the helpful feature for me to enable the trend line on this chart okay now on top of this trend line i'll just make it duplicated and 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 i will add one more thing which is also more benefited just duplicate this chart and i can simply drag this to the bottom now this chart is helping me to get the reference line and this chart will help me to get something different <coughs> which we can call as trend line so what is the trend line trend means it will help me to get the story building that means if you just see the entire balancing on uh, it entire uh, you know histogram of your business then trend line will show you that your business is in a in a growing stage making profit or losing revenues okay so now you need to see this trend line i will just make it uh, red and here i'll just remove this reference line of this median and average now you see here 
here the trend line is there's another tab you have to come here and enable the trend line and you can make it dark like this or maybe dotted or anything small thickness okay i'm just choosing this one with a little bit thicker and this will give me an idea that this particular line is little bit inclined so it is not declined that means i've started the business from here and from that day i am growing and growing and growing okay it is not so uh, you know uh, substantial growth but yes the growth is remarkable okay so this is how the trend line and reference line is being used in a chart to make a better decision making okay thank you so much